Good morning, everyone. <laughs> I don't know what's up with my freaking intros lately. Anyway, um, today I'm so excited. I have been wanting to film a full, bleh, foundation first impression. I was going to say full face. No. Well, those two. But no, I wanted to film a foundation first impression. And I found these in my drawer and I was like, that's right. I bought these off Beauty Bay a little while back. And I really want to try it because it's so cheap and apparently quite a good dupe for the Apple Foundation or whatever it's called by Kat. I mean, sorry, not Kat Von D Beauty. KVD Beauty. Whoa. This is the Milani Cream to Powder Foundation. I think it's like 10 bucks American or so. It comes in this packaging. It's like this, just like, you know, the Luminoso blush, like similar kind of packaging to that. Plastic, but still looks pretty nice and pretty lightweight. On Ulta, it's rated 4 out of 5 and it's 10 dollars A bunch of different shades by the look of it. I've only got two shades here, so I'm not sure how like light and dark they do go. It says it is vegan, cruelty free, made in the USA, light diffusing, buildable full color coverage, soft matte, camera ready finish, antioxidant rich vitamins A, E, green tea to help protect your skin, and lily and bamboo extract control oil and shine. So it literally sounds amazing, but I guess we'll try it out today and actually see if it's any good. I haven't done a drugstore first impression in a little bit. Let me know if you still like these. I think drugstore foundation first impressions are so fun because I love trying new foundations, but it's so hard when, you know, a lot of foundations are like $40, $50 or whatever they may be. Because I just like trying new ones just for the fun of it, you know what I mean? But that's expensive. Like, foundation is one of those, like, makeup products that can get very expensive. When you find a really good drugstore foundation, it's really fun. Because it's like, yeah, you get to try something new. And if it doesn't work out, it's not, like, gonna ruin my life. So I got two shades here. I've got 210 Creamy Nude. And I have 215 Creamy Vanilla. I guess I'll swatch both of them on my face. And we'll figure out which shade we need. I'm gonna do the same thing I always do if you're new here. Hello, please subscribe. I like to prime half of my face. Just so we can see if there's any difference in the application and in the longevity. I'm not going to use a setting spray today. I'm not sure if we'll even use powder because it says here that it's a cream, whoops, cream to powder. And I don't know if we'll need concealer or not because it says conceal and perfect. So I guess we'll just find out. Why is this so bright? I thought I looked pale. Okay, there we go. So once again, 215 Creamy Vanilla, 210 Creamy Nude. I'm thinking that the side... Will probably be a little bit better. It looks a little bit less orange. I don't know. It looks balmy. Like the texture reminds me of like the poor putty primer by e.l.f. or something like that if you know what I mean. So that shade there is creamy vanilla. And then we have the shade creamy nude. Okay creamy nude is going to be way too pale actually. So there you go. I feel like it comes off a little bit lighter than what it looks like in the pan. So we're going to prime half of our face with the Laura Mercier Pure Canvas Power Primer. People always ask me if I'm going to do any more blooper videos and not really because I basically just leave all my bloopers in now. I don't know. Do you hate that? Anyways, this is so nice. Pure Canvas Power Primer. Silicone free. I really like this. I've been using it quite a bit lately. It's just almost like a moisturizer that also primes. So I dig that um, because my skin can get a little bit dehydrated sometimes, especially in this weather. Just gonna let that soak in. Here's another sneak peek of another cup. Shanique, so you Gaia, how bloody cute is this? This is our little summary cup. I don't really know how to apply it. Are you supposed to use a sponge, a brush? Don't know. Let's have a look. Oh, use the enclosed sponge applicator, beauty blender, or foundation brush. Anything, basically. Begin by rubbing tool of choice in a circular motion to soften the surface of the foundation, which I've kind of done with my finger. Pick up product with tool and apply for best results. Begin in the center, pat and blend outward, build coverage as desired. I'm actually very excited to try this on. Most people rated it five stars, so do I use my sponge or their sponge? I might start with my sponge. This is the XO Beauty sponge. The new Ultra Soft. I'm worried it's going to show up a bit of texture because right now it kind of looks very textury on my skin. Do you see what I mean? Like it almost looks like a friggin paint. I'm going to try it with the enclosed sponge and just see if you can get more coverage because the sponge is a lot like harder. Yeah, look. But the thing is, I feel like it just smears around, like, like it just wipes. Do you know what I mean? Let me try again. Like, you gotta pat it so that it doesn't just completely blend away. I feel like with the softer sponge, it sticks better. With this one, it looks like you get more coverage straight away, but it just, like, I feel like the sponge is soaking it all up. 
I don't know. I'm going back in with my other sponge to blend this. Or build it up, I should say, actually. Okay, the colour match is not bad. It looks pretty smooth. Oh my god, did I ding it with my finger or like, was that my, I think that's my sponge moving it. So this is the prime side right now. And I still feel like I would need foundation. I mean, <laughs> I still feel like I would need concealer. And it's supposed to be cream to powder. Like it still looks very creamy right now, but I'll try touching it soon. I'm just gonna let it set though. Overall though, it still looks good. I'm just like a little bit iffy. I feel like I've used so much product, like so many layers, but I mean, it's still reasonably easy to apply. I feel like if you like the kind of motion of like dipping and petting, I feel like the little, like, you know, the packs, like the BB creams that come in these is probably like, better because you get really good coverage immediately and it's really moisturizing and glowy but you do have to set it so I guess that's the difference like this one theoretically you shouldn't have to set it but I feel like these look better on the skin this is a MAC one you get them from heaps of K-beauty brands though all right time for us to try a brush I'm not sold on the sponge or the enclosed sponge we've got some product here we go this is a bit better look at that this nasty pimple I got. You see that on my temple? It's actually like painful. I like definitely should not be putting makeup on top of it. <laughs> That's so much quicker to apply. Full coverage immediately. This is a flat face brush by So Beauty by the way. I'll link it down below. It's one of my favorite brushes to put on foundation with. This application method wins hands down. Okay I'm just gonna touch it. Definitely still transfers. I feel like I would still set this look. It's still like, can you see all that on my finger? Surely you can. Man, I really wanted to love this, but so far I'm like very iffy about it. Because even though it's cheap, like I'm not judging it based on the price completely. Like obviously like something that's cheap, you kind of give a little bit more lenience towards because if you can make it work, it's still worth it. Whereas like if you're spending 60 or 80 bucks on a foundation and like you have to kind of like force it to work as well it's like is it still worth it but at the end of the day like we still have to judge it if it's worth spending hard-earned cash on yes or no so far I'm on the fence so I will obviously continue to check in throughout the day and you know see how it's wearing and see how I like it once I've got a full face on and everything like that I mean it looks really good right now at this point I feel like I'd like it a lot more if I just started with the brush though like the sponge was just like a no from me I don't like it with the sponge and like I feel like everyone uses these types of viral foundations with the sponge that it comes with and nah I do not like it at all I feel like it literally just soaked up into the sponge and nothing was going on my face when it did go on my face it was just smearing off it's just not worth it okay I definitely feel like I need some under eye concealer and I'm sorry I'm gonna have to set it I just don't think it cuts it like this is that kind of texture where it just stays creamy um it transfers quite a lot onto your finger yeah it, for me I don't know I don't know if I've done something wrong it does transfer. I do feel like it transfers more on the primed side though, interestingly. So the unprimed side, it still does transfer. I can still see it on my finger. It might be hard for you to see because of the colour match. Hopefully this blends really nicely on top of this product. If it doesn't, maybe it's one of those ones that you might have to like, you know, apply your concealer first and then put the foundation on next. It blends up perfect on top. So that's good. The foundation itself covered up like that bright red pimple I had really 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 well as well by the way. Um, and like any little red dots down here that I have. I'm kind of just like tapping any excess concealer around those areas to make sure everything's perfect. But by itself it still did it. And around my nose look. Looked really good. Alright. Powder time. Actually I'll set under my eyes first. I'm going to use my Summer Bisque. I'm just using a little bronzer brush today. These still fit really nicely under the eye and the little tape edge is nice for the inner corner. This is actually my favourite contouring brush though. If you guys could design your dream brushes, how would they look? Give me some inspo. What would you like do? Oh my goodness, I'm going out for sushi for dinner tonight as well and I'm so excited. I actually tried making homemade sushi last night because I've been craving it real bad. I haven't had it for like obviously weeks because we were in lockdown for a long time and then I just haven't gone and got it. Homemade sushi actually came out pretty well, surprisingly. I feel like with practice it'll get even better. Um, it kind of fell apart a little bit because I'm still trying to get used to the rolling. It sits really nicely and it looks flawless. 
so that's positive i do feel like i need a lot of bronzer like it definitely is not a bad match and i feel like as soon as i've bronzed it's going to be literally perfect i do have fake tan on right now but you can see it's definitely a little bit too pale so i don't know i feel like the color match is pretty good especially considering yeah bronzer and like if i have less fake tan on it'll match too i'm gonna do the rest of my makeup on a live stream on my twitch twitch.tv slash shanixo if you guys want to come join next time but i'll do a quick close-up flash test um, come get close with me. I'm gonna leave it dark so you can see. Can you see what I mean about how like it kind of shows up a little bit of texture? It doesn't show up texture, sorry, it adds a little bit of texture. It's that very like, I don't know, balmy kind of like situation where it just kind of like flakes up a little bit. But who knows, it might settle into the skin as we wear it. Don't know. That's not powder by the way, that's literally how the foundation looked as well. I do feel like it looks smoother on the non-prime side which is really interesting. Maybe because it is a very balmy creamy formula you don't need that extra hydration perhaps maybe it's just good on dry bare skin you know i moisturized this morning after my shower but my skin was completely dried or soaked in and i feel like it really did go on nicer on that side so could be a thing also if i could set this with setting spray i'd probably settle it down a lot but we're not doing that today so in some places i do feel like it looks a little bit dusty i feel like it's kind of collecting in this wrinkle i have up here which i don't have a terrible wrinkle but you know like that kind of made it look worse i've just smoothed it out with my brush We'll keep an eye on it throughout the day. Let's do a quick flash test. I will put the flash photos over the screen now so you guys can kind of judge it for yourself. I think it looks reasonably smooth on flash photography. It doesn't wash me out too much. Like it's just literally a shade light, but it doesn't like go super pale or anything like that with the flashback. It doesn't seem to have any SPF in it, so it makes sense. But anyway, that's how it looks. So the current time is 10 at 12. I'm gonna come back every few hours and just show you how it's going. I'll probably pop in just for a checkup after I finish my makeup so we can see how it looks with the bronzer and everything on. I will wear it till at least 10 o'clock tonight so we can do a full 12 hour wear test. Let me know in the comments below what do you think of it so far. Would you be intrigued or are you just like eh, like whatever. I don't know. For the price like it looks very flawless so far and if it has long wear I think it'll be worth it but if it starts to fade and everything I think no. So let's see. Hello. I've done my makeup. Look how cute it is. I did it on Twitch. I will link the direct Twitch live stream for you down below and you can watch it back. You can skip through it and see what I used if you are interested. But I love how my makeup turned out today. Still feel mixed on it. The under eyes keep creasing and shape tape normally is not this bad at creasing under my eyes. So I feel like it must be because I put a bit of the product underneath my eyes and then I put the shape tape on top. It's just constantly creasing I can't even stop it at this point so I'm not sure if it's good around wrinkle areas like it's sunk into this wrinkle as well I think if you have any wrinkles or expression lines like smile lines or anything like that that stuff sometimes sinks into I think this is the type of formula that does move into those areas everything seemed to blend on top of the foundation perfectly fine um it still looks a little bit like cakey like down here let me zoom all the way in in the dark you'll be able to see in the dark See how it looks kind of thick and textured just around here, around my nose, um, on my nose, like, it's not the most smooth kind of second skin feeling foundation that I've used. It kind of sits on the surface and can look a little bit heavy, but in saying that, I still think it looks flawless. It's just up close. By the way, it is 1pm. I live streamed for a while. Uh, that was like three hours ago almost, so, uh, we will see how it goes. It's still early days. We'll see if it fades on... My lower cheek, I feel like it already low-key looks like it might be starting to. We'll figure it out as we go. But yeah, I do think it looks great though from a distance. You know what I mean? So I'm being too lenient because it is so affordable. But at the end of the day, if it starts looking super cakey and, you know, going funny before the six hour mark, I would say it's not worth it. If it can go at least six hours looking pretty good, it might be worth a go because it's so cheap. Hello everyone. It is quarter past five. So that's roughly six hours, right? No, seven hours. Did I start at 10 something? Now I'm forgetting. Either way, this is looking not bad. I feel like it's completely wiped off though where I've been sitting like this. Look, I just noticed. Can you see it's kind of like this? Like it goes like that into my like natural skin just there. Can you see that on camera? I hope so. Like surely you can see that. So, yeah, I don't think it's transfer proof at all. You can see like over here, that's like my bare skin basically, where maybe I've been sitting like this against my hands. 
Um, this side's not so bad, but I don't think I, you, I think I sit on this hand. See, either that or it's like something to do with the primer, I don't know. Um, the shine is highlight, so that's fine. I definitely do not look oily. Like, yeah, look where I've rubbed my nose. It's like, come off. I think anywhere you touch, it just comes straight off. As much as, like, it does look nice. I feel like the cons outweigh the pros. I feel like it's not very long lasting, like, through touching. Um, it just kind of transfers off. It's not transfer proof. Like, look at that, yeah. That's just bare skin, essentially. It kind of makes you look a little bit textured and cakey a little bit. I want to keep using it for the rest of the day. I'm going to take my brush and just smear out this wrinkle that it's kind of like collecting in. That's another thing. It collects in fine lines. It collects under your eyes. Yeah, I feel like it looks good when it looks good. It's just that if you touch your face, if you do anything, it's going to come off. And that's just not really ideal. I'm just going to add some more to where it's rubbed off because I do have dinner with friends and I don't want to be seen with jacked up face makeup. Like can you see where I'm reapplying it? It definitely, yeah, there you go. It's back. And that's even with setting it too. Like it still came off. I'm gonna have to like use more powder and everything as well. It looks really smooth though and it is really easy to reapply. So that's a good thing, you know, if you are taking it on the go, I guess you can just touch it up. I don't know. I feel like, for me, a touch-up should just be a little bit of powder, not like reapplying my foundation. But everyone's got different ideas of it. I mean, for the price, maybe you'll think it's still worth it. This is the thing, and it's completely up to what you guys think is worth it and what isn't worth it. I'd probably just rather invest in something that's actually going to last a little bit longer. I'm using this glowish bronzer now. So yeah, I definitely don't think it's utterly shit. I think it looks beautiful. It's just... A hassle. I will see you guys in a few more hours anyway and we'll see how it looks closer to you know 9 to 12 hours wear. Hello guys I'm a little bit wine drunk <laughs> just be out for dinner and here's how it looks it looks pretty much the same as the last touch up it is 8 p.m. so I will pop back shortly and show you guys how it's looking but yeah it looks kind of the same as the last update maybe a little bit's rubbed off on my nose what do you guys think? Looks like a little bit, it's like moved again. It looks a little bit cakey over my nose. Maybe a little bit cakey around like the sides of my nose as well. All right, let's just ignore the fact that I have like a wine stain on my lip. I don't know what that's all about. So it is now 11.02 p.m. So this has been on for a very long time. What's that? 13 hours. I feel like if you're not a face touch, it could be okay. I don't know. I'm totally on the fence with this one. This is another one where I'm just like 50-50. I don't know if it's worth it or not. It's very cheap. <laughs> so <laughs> if you want to give it a go. So take this, you know, whatever way you'd like to. <laughs> Will I wear this foundation again? I probably wouldn't bother. I'd probably just chuck on like a cushion packed foundation or something if I wanted like a similar quick application and good coverage like i don't know i just feel like it still just has too many cons do you know what i mean that's just my opinion you guys may like it more than me or less than me so if you have tried this please comment your review down below and help everyone else watching this video so they can read the comments and you know see a few more reviews you can help some other people make a good decision on whether it would be good for them or not I really appreciate it when you guys do that for me and for our entire community. Thank you guys so much. That's that. I hope you guys have an amazing rest of your day, whatever time it is where you are, and I will talk to you guys in my next video.